hey, people, let's do this thing. So the static keyword. Static is a keyword that defines properties or methods that belong to a class itself rather than the objects created from that class. In summary, a class owns anything static, not the objects. So what we're going to do is create a class for math utilities. Class math util for short. We'll create our own version of pi. We'll use the static keyword. The name will be pi. Pi will equal 3.14159, just the first few digits. I'm going to zoom in a little. If I would like the static property, I have to access it by its class. So let's console dot lol <laughs> dot log the name of the class math util dot the name of the property pi our static property is 3.14159 I don't need to create an object in order to use this property I don't have to type const math util 1 equals new math util I would have to type math util 1 that's the name of this object in order to access pi. All I have to do is type the name of the class. And that's pretty convenient. Anything declared as static belongs to the class itself and not any object created from that class. So now we're going to create a static method. We'll use the static keyword. We'll get a diameter once we pass in a radius as an argument. Get diameter. We have one parameter, a radius. All we're going to do is return radius times 2. Okay, let's console dot log. Again, we have to type the name of the class, Matthew Till, dot the name of the method. Get diameter. We have to pass in a radius, though. Let's pass in 10. Our diameter is 20. Let's create a new static method for get circumference. Get circumference the formula is going to be we will be returning two times this meaning matthew till dot pi times the radius we receive let's console dot log let me make the c capital the name of the class matthew till dot get circumference, pass in a radius. The circumference is 62.83. Let's create one more for get area. Static get area. We need a radius. We will return this dot pi times radius times radius. So that's radius squared. console.log, Matthew Till, the name of the class, get area, pass in 10, and the area is 314.15. In the next example, we'll have a mix of regular properties and methods and static properties and methods. This will be example two. We'll create a class of users. Class user. We'll create a static variable to keep track of the amount of users we create. User count. I will set that equal to zero. I'll include a constructor. Let me just space this out a little. Our constructor is going to be automatically called when we instantiate a new object. We need one argument though when we create a new user. We need a username. Once we have our username, we will assign this dot username equals username. Not only that, but when we create a new user, I'm going to increase our user count by one, just so we can keep track of how many users we create. So inside of the constructor, you can write additional code. It's not only for assigning properties. Let's take user dot user count plus plus to increment it. Let's create some user objects. Const user1 equals new user. Pass in a username. I'll pass in Spongebob. Then let's console.log. 
user one's username, which is SpongeBob. Let's attempt to access user one's user count. With user one's user count, we get undefined. That's because our user doesn't have user count as a property. It's static. That means it belongs to the class, not any objects created from the class. To access user count, we have to type the name of the class. User in this case. We have one user. Let's see what happens when I create a new user object. User2 will equal Patrick. Our user count is now 2. Let's display user2's name. Yep, we have SpongeBob and Patrick. The total user count is 2. Let's create a third user. User3 will be Sandy. Console.log user3.username. Our user count is now 3. We have a static property that's keeping track of the amount of users we create. Let's create a method. The first one will not be static. Say hello. All we're going to do is console.log. I'll use a template string. Hello. My username is, I'll add a placeholder, this.username. Let's have user1 use their say hello method. Same thing with user2 and user3. Hello, my username is Spongebob, Patrick, and Sandy. Now we'll create a static method. We'll get the user count. Get user count console.log I'll use a template string. There are, I'll add a placeholder, user dot user count users online. Now in order to access this method, I have to type the name of the class. User dot get user count. Oops, and I can't console.log that user dot get user count. There are three users online. All right, everybody, so that is the static keyword. It defines properties and methods that belong to a class itself rather than any objects created from that class. In summary, the class owns anything static, not the objects. And well, that is the static keyword in JavaScript.